What's up guys? I've had a few questions lately on how to put an ND filter, a natural density filter, onto my Dobby drone. After showing in my tips and tricks on getting the best footage possible that an ND filter really does help out. So I'm going to show you two ways to do that today. Really simple. First off, you'll need to actually purchase um, the gel ND filter. It's almost like a paper sort of material. It's very bendable. It's not the glass one you want. Okay. And you'll need to actually cut a little piece of this and I'll include links on eBay where you can buy this. You can get this other places too. Shouldn't pay more than about 10 or $15 for this sheet of tons of ND filter. Um, you're going to cut a little square or a circle that's going to fit right over this section here. Okay. This is the first way to do it. Really simple. So all I'm going to do is snip a little bit away. Okay, got a nice little square here. And that's going to go right over this right here, over the camera. You can probably cut that a little nicer. I didn't do a very good job. So the easiest way to put an ND filter onto the Dobby here is actually just to get a little bit of tape, tape just up there and just down there. Now, if you do it right, you'll still be able to go up and down and adjust the camera angle. So let's go ahead and do that now. I like to do it with the camera angle wide open or tilted pretty far down for starters. Just use a little bit of tape so you don't get into the actual camera lens area. Okay. And you don't want to tape it to the actual body, just the adjustable camera itself. Then tilt it back up. Get your tape on the bottom. Tape just a little bit there. And that will allow you to still adjust it up, down, as needed. And this comes off really easily. Doesn't look the most aesthetically pleasing, but it works. I often keep a few that I've already pre-cut and have tape right here so I can just pop them on, put them on, throw them out when I'm done, or if it's a really cloudy day and I don't need them, just tape them back there, okay? So that's option one. That's a really easy way to do it. You do wanna make it sure it's pretty flush to the lens, otherwise you'll get little bits of streaks of light coming in. And you don't want it to be quite as sloppy as I've done here. You do want it to be nice and even with just a little bit of tape there and a little bit of tape there. So that's version one. Let me show you version two. So the other option is to get some double-sided tape. Um, this is a little bit thick for the job, but it will do. What you can use is a hole punch, punch a perfect circle out, and then use the outside area to put it on that little piece of ND filter you cut, or just use some scissors and cut it out. Let me show you how that's gonna look. This is a little bit more of a permanent solution. This stuff is a lot stronger than just traditional tape, but if you plan to have one on there, you want it to look a little bit better, like a perfect circle around it, this is probably the way to go. So let's try that. Okay, so I've used the hole puncher and cut out a really rough circle here. Um, not only of the ND filter, but also of the double-sided tape. I'm just gonna trim around the edges a little bit more. Making sure that's all nice and clean in there. And then I'll peel off the other backing of the double-sided tape. I'm gonna apply that to the Dobby and we'll be done. That'll be it. So there we go, it's on there. This was a little crude, a little fast. I'll include links to where you can buy something like this as well. Um, if you just want it pre-made, it's gonna cost you a little bit more, but it's really easy to do on your own. Uh, and it just looks pretty good actually, much better than just cutting a block of ND filter. The end result's probably gonna be about the same. And you can just pull this, put it back on. Now there is one other way to do it, and that is to 3D print a tiny bracket that will go over this and hold it in place. I'll include a link to the actual object for it. If you have a 3D printer, that might be a good idea. And you can slide a filter in and out without having to use any other tape. 
pretty nice idea. All right, guys, hope that helps. You can use a similar concept or similar ND filter and put it over the lens of an action camera if you're going to be mounting that on a larger drone. Or you can buy a little ND filter cap for action cameras. It just kind of screws on or fits over the top of the action camera. Something else to keep in mind. Thanks for watching, guys. Isaac Walton here for Hunting the River King. Later.